On this super review, let's take a look at the MX Vertical Mouse by Logitech. To start, if this box appears mangled, well, that's because it is. Thanks, UPS. Hopefully the mouse itself, however, is not mangled. All right, so what we have here is a new mouse from Logitech. It is the MX Vertical Mouse, which is for people like me who need vertical mice. All right, so if you've never used a vertical mouse before in your life, you're probably wondering, why would anyone want a mouse shaped like this? Frankly, I haven't been using mice for like the past 10 years. I've been happy with trackpads. But then earlier this year, I started getting wrist issues. And it turns out that having my wrist flat like this is not good for my wrist. So I ended up getting a vertical mouse, which is just kind of a, a cheap anchor mouse. And it's okay, it does the job, but it actually does really help my wrist. When I saw that Logitech was coming out with their own vertical mouse, well, that got me excited because uh, the anchor mouse is fine. It's just, it's, it's a cheap mouse. And I was excited to see what, you know, a premium feeling vertical mouse might do for me. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox the MX vertical mouse. And then I'm gonna hook it up to my computers. I've got a MacBook here as well as a Windows laptop. Test it out a little bit and then I'll let you know what I think. Okay, here we got the MX vertical mouse from Logitech and yes, this box is a mess. But before we unbox it, let's go ahead and take a tour around the box and find out what we can about the mouse. Let's see on the front of it, there's not much except that it has a picture of the mouse, which is I think a pretty handsome mouse. And it shows you that it has a 57 degree angle, which is exactly my preferred angle. Okay, I'm kidding. I actually, I have no idea which angle I prefer, but 57 degrees, sure, that sounds fine. All right, so if we go around to this side, this is interesting that it describes that you can connect this mouse to your computer in three, three different ways. Uh, one, you can use just a USB-C charging cable, which it comes with, right? You could connect this directly to your computer and use it as a wired mouse if you wanted to. You can use the included Bluetooth adapter that this comes with, or you can connect it directly to your computer with Bluetooth, assuming your computer has Bluetooth, and frankly, which computer doesn't have Bluetooth? I'm actually really excited about that aspect of it because you know I mentioned that I currently have like a cheaper anchor mouse, which does the job, but it requires I have a little USB dongle connected to my computer. And what that means is that I'm just, I have one of my USB ports plugged up with a little dongle that's doing, U, that's doing Bluetooth, which my computer already does. And it feels, it feels like a waste of a port. Hopefully with the MX vertical mouse, I don't have to worry about that. Uh, around here on the back, again, a little bit more information about the ergonomics and the, the science behind what it does for you. I don't know how much of this is true, but I can say that from my personal experience, Again, I was having issues when I was using a mouse with my hand laying flat like this, and I tried switching to a vertical mouse so that my, I wasn't twisting my wrist like that, and it totally, totally helped me. So I can't guarantee you that if you're having similar problems, it's gonna solve your problems, but I'll say for me, a vertical mouse definitely helped. All right, some other features down here. It does say that you can use 4X less hand movement because of the high DPI. Uh, that's a, that's a weird thing to put as a feature. I mean, that just means that you can, you can set the DPI of your mouse really high so that you can move across the screen with just really small mouse movements. Personally, I don't have the dexterity that I can use a mouse really effectively like that. So not really a feature for me. Uh, cursor speed switch, which again is related to the high DPI. A lot of mice, you know, support a, a button that lets you switch between a high speed and a low speed mouse movement. Frankly, I actually don't like those buttons because I tap them by accident and just randomly my mouse is behaving differently and I have to remember, oh yeah, there's this button on here that changes my mouse speed. So for me, again, not really a feature. This, however, is a feature. So the MX Vertical Mouse has a built-in battery, which is one of the things that makes this much nicer than my Anchor Mouse. The Anchor Mouse runs on double A's, which is fine. Like they last pretty long. But this thing has built-in battery. I don't ever have to worry about swapping the batteries. I just have to charge it. And the great news is I don't have to charge it much. So this shows that a one minute charge will get you three hours of battery life. And this does show, I don't know how long a full charge is gonna take, but a full charge is supposed to last me four months, four months. So if uh, today is September, September, October, November, December, this could last me through the rest of the year on a single charge. And then the last feature of the MX wireless mouse is, or MX vertical mouse, 
is this easy switch flow enabled functionality that Logitech promises. And that's the idea is that you can connect this mouse to multiple computers that are near each other and seamlessly transition from using one computer to the next without having to like reconnect and disconnect the mouse. As someone who's frequently using two computers, right? Like I've got my Windows laptop here and then just off camera, I've got my MacBook. That's actually a super, super useful feature if it works. I have no idea if it's gonna work. And further, like I don't know if it's gonna work going from a Mac or from a PC to a Mac, but that's where we're gonna find out. Yeah, that's about as much as I can say without cracking this thing fully open. So without further ado, let's do it. All right, so we've got the MX Vertical Mouse unboxed, and what do you get inside? Not a ton. You do get four pieces of paper, which is more pieces of paper than you usually get. Uh, you do get a Bluetooth dongle, which I hope I don't have to use. A USB-C charging cable. I mean, it's got regular USB-A on one side, and then USB-C on the other, which is nice because this thing charges with USB-C. And then you get the mouse itself, which, on first impressions, definitely feels more premium than my Anchor mouse. That said, it is still surprisingly lightweight. Like, let me go ahead and pull in the Anchor real quick. And I would say in terms of weight, they feel similar. So this is the Anchor mouse. And issues that I have with this are, well, frankly, not a ton. This thing works pretty well. It was only about 20 bucks. I did have one of these die on me. So I guess that's not great. Uh, like I mentioned, this thing, is run on just regular batteries. Actually, it looks like it's AAA batteries. And like I mentioned, it does require the use of a USB Bluetooth dongle. This does not seem to have the option to connect directly to my computer. One thing that is nice about this little dongle is that there's a place in the bottom of it to store it. So if I need to carry this around, well, I have always got the USB dongle with me. For me, really the biggest complaint I have with the Anchor Mouse, and this might seem silly until you've done it a number of times yourself, is I feel like the weight of this thing is not centered enough in the bottom or it's just not, it's just not, I don't know, it's not uh, balanced enough. So here's what happens a lot of the times is I do that by accident. I knock this thing over, I don't know, probably like once a day. And it, that's maybe a minor complaint, but it's a little frustrating, frankly. And here with the Logitech, again, the weight doesn't seem any different. I was kind of hoping that maybe it would feel a little bit weighted down here at the bottom, but if I do the, ooh, I can still knock it over by accident. It doesn't seem to knock over this this way as easily as the anchor will. But uh, over to the left, yeah, you know what? I think this is a little bit more solid than the anchor, so that's pretty nice. And then the grip in the hand, it's definitely a more relaxed grip, right? This keeps my wrist vertical, but it does require, like my fingers get pretty close together, right? So it's still a pretty tight pinch. Over here, well, maybe that's about the same. Yeah, I don't know. This feels more relaxed, and maybe it's just because of this hump over here. I'm not sure exactly, but it does feel pretty good. The clickiness of the mice is, oh, that's actually quite a bit better on the Logitech. It requires less clicking pressure. We have basically the same button layout, right? So we've got a left click, a right click, left click, right click. We've got a DPI change button up here which I think is actually a really good place for it. I mentioned I don't really like this functionality. And on, you know, some like gaming mice, so very often it's like right in the middle of your other two buttons. And I press it by accident all the time. On both of these vertical mice, it's up here where my thumb is not naturally going. So I don't think I'm gonna have the issue where I accidentally press that. So for me, that's excellent. The two side clicking buttons, they feel a little bit small, frankly. Like these are bigger and maybe a little bit easier to click, but I also don't use them a ton. Quieter on the Logitech, I guess. But definitely these buttons are better. Now we get to the scroll wheel. Yeah, they're both actually pretty nice scroll wheels. They both have a center click. You can tell the Logitech makes a little bit less sound. But yeah, really, I 
frankly, the, the Anchor is pretty solid for 20 bucks. This Logitech mouse is about 100 bucks right now. So is this thing five times better than this? I, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and put it to use and figure out. I mean, it's got some functionality, right, that this thing doesn't have. And that alone might make it useful. It might make it worth five times as much. But frankly, if you're just looking for a vertical mouse to ease your wrist issues, or even just to find out if this sort of layout is gonna help you, I do recommend the Anchor Mouse. For 20 bucks, it's, it's kind of a no-brainer. The one downside here is that there appears to be no place for me to insert the USB dongle. Again, I'm hoping I don't actually have to use this, so maybe that's not a problem, but if I have to use this, I think that is an advantage that the Anchor has is that it stores the USB dongle for you. But yeah, that's about as much as I can find out about the Logitech MX mouse without connecting it. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to my Windows laptop as well as my Mac and see if I can go back and forth between those two laptops with one mouse because for me, frankly, that is the dream and that will make this thing potentially worth the hundred bucks that it costs. All right, so I've been using the Logitech MX vertical wireless mouse for a few days now and I've got some thoughts. To start with, let's talk about kind of like the shape, the size and the functionality of this thing because as a vertical mouse, I feel like that's the most important thing. And in my opinion, I think Logitech got it right, like most of the way. The, the size and the shape of this thing for my hand fits pretty well. It's a relatively large mouse compared to something like the Anchor vertical mouse that I have. This feels a lot bigger in the hand. You can kind of see, maybe you can kind of see here. Let me see it in the video. Can you see? Uh, yeah, you can kind of see. You can kind of see like how large it fits in my hand and how relaxed my hand is when I'm holding it. That said, if you have smaller hands, you might actually prefer the anchor. Um, just the anchor's a little bit smaller to grip and the buttons, especially like these back and forward buttons are a little bit easier to reach on the anchor. And during the unboxing, I mentioned that one of the issues I have with the anchor is that it, it seems to be kind of top heavy or it, it tends to tip over a lot. And I didn't have that issue at all with the MX wireless. I'm not saying I can't tip it over because I can if I try, but it just, it never happened during just kind of incidental use the way that it happens with the anchor sometimes. And that's a fairly minor thing with the anchor, but it does seem like the Logitech improves that. So that much I appreciate. The two aspects of the functionality that I'm not 100% a fan of with the MX wireless are, well, one, I think the right click button is a little bit too easy to click. I find myself activating it by accident just by like resting my finger on the button. I feel like it's just, it's maybe a smidge a smidge sensitive. And then the other issue, and this is more of, I think a missed opportunity, is the scroll wheel on this is a fine scroll wheel. You know, it's got a typical, it's got a pretty typical scroll action. But I think the missed opportunity is with the, the, the ability to toggle from two different scrolling actions, okay? So the default scrolling action is pretty solid, but some of those premium Logitech mice that are not vertical, they let you toggle to a free scrolling mode where you can just kind of like wing it and, and scroll really long distances in a short amount of time. And I think I would really like that functionality because frankly, as I've moved away from the Mac touchpad, that's one of the trackpad, that's one of the things I miss is the ability to really quickly scroll from you know the bottom to the top of a page. And with this, it's just the same typical, I have to sit here and scroll for a long time to get there. Another nice feature of the MX wireless versus the Anchor is that this can connect directly to my computer via Bluetooth without the need of a dongle. So it does come with a dongle if your computer doesn't support the right Bluetooth. But if your computer supports the right Bluetooth and my MacBook does, I can connect this directly to it. I don't need a dongle. I don't need to be using up a USB port just to use a mouse. And frankly, that's that's pretty fantastic because with the Anchor, I've always had this dongle just hanging out the side of my MacBook and it's taken up one of my USB ports and it's pretty nice that the Logitech doesn't require that. On the downside, not all computers are gonna support the right Bluetooth. It seems like the Bluetooth that it requires is Bluetooth low energy. And my MacBook supports that, but my Windows laptop unfortunately does not. And I don't think it's like all Windows, I'm sure there are Windows laptops out there that support Bluetooth low energy and will support this, but mine doesn't. So I do have to use the dongle if I wanna use this mouse on my Windows laptop. And that gets me to, I think really, kind of the most interesting features of the vertical mouse. And that is that this thing will allow you to connect to multiple computers at the same time 
and really easily transition between them. So if you have multiple computers in your desk, like I do, or if maybe you're at work, you've got multiple stations and you just want one setup that you can hop between the different setups, you can, can actually connect to three different computers at the same time. And there's a button on the bottom here that allows you to just quickly toggle between one, two, and three, which is pretty cool. But that's not the coolest thing this thing does. If you have the Logitech software installed on your computers, you can set it up so that you can just drag your mouse from one, the, the edge of the screen of one computer and it will then magically show up on the screen of the other computer. And that's pretty cool. So you don't even have to like reach down and toggle the mouse. You can just move your mouse to the edge of the screen and now you're working on your other computer and you can arrange it however you want so that if you've got one computer in the middle, one on the left side, one on the right side, one on the left, that's the left side, that's the right side. If you, however you have it set up, you can arrange it with the Logitech software and make it so you can just move edge to edge and seamlessly transition between using multiple computers. I think that's a really cool feature. The part of that feature that's especially magical is that it supports copy paste between computers. So you can on one computer, let's say copy a URL, drag your mouse over to the other computer and then paste that URL, which seems like magic, but it totally works. I think that it requires the computers to be on the same network, like the same wireless network, but for me, it totally worked. In fact, it worked for me going from a Windows laptop to a Mac laptop, which I did not expect. If I were to rate the Logitech MX vertical mouse out of five stars, I think, I think I'd give it four stars out of five. Yeah, four stars out of five. I think, you know, the things that, the, the, the points where it, it loses that star are, I think the, the scroll wheel, it should be, it should give me that free flowing scroll wheel that I've seen on other Logitech mice for a hundred bucks. I kind of expect it. And then just the fact that it doesn't connect directly to my Windows laptop because of some Bluetooth requirement. That's a little bit of a bummer too, but it's it's fairly minor bummer because mostly I plan to use this on my Mac. And then the, really the only big issue with the MX Vertical is the price. It's a hundred bucks, which is not cheap versus like the Anchor, which is 20 bucks. And it's fairly close to what this does. Obviously there are some premium features on here that you don't get on the Anchor but it is a fifth of the price and that's kind of hard to argue with. But yeah, for me, I'm happy I got the MX Vertical Mouse. I'm gonna continue using it. Uh, four stars out of five. If you're interested in checking it out, I do have a link to Amazon in the description down below. While you're down there, you can hit the like button for the video if you like the video. You can subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next super video.